Let's talk fountain pens. Hi guys, today I want to talk about my fountain pen collection. In the past year I acquired several pens and then around holidays I got a few more. Some of them you have seen, some of them you have not. I enjoyed many of them in this collection, some of them I haven't even inked yet. So today I want to go over different pens that I have in different nib sizes, different makers, different technologies and we'll just chat about which ones I like, what I like about them and which ones I recommend especially if you are getting into fountain pens just now. So let's begin. Let me clear this out and we'll start with this guy right here. So let's start with this one. I figured while we talking about the pens, I also brought some Tomoe River paper notebook here and maybe we'll do some swatching as we go for the ones that are inked right now. So this one right here is a gorgeous pen by Platinum and it's called Curidas. And this one is in medium. This one is actually uh, an unusual pen. It is a clickable pen. And uh, this particular color, unfortunately, it doesn't come across on camera really well, but it's this deep teal and they call it urban green. A uh, beautiful pen. I wanted to have a clickable pen for a while. The one I saw around YouTube was a Pilot Vanishing Point, but it's you know of a kind of higher price point and I was looking around knowing that there should be some some comparable pens in that same technology and I came across Platinum. Platinum is a known pen brand and I figured um, why not and I asked my husband and he got it for me for Christmas. Gorgeous color, gorgeous pen. It's this uh, semi-clear glass in dark teal and again as I mentioned it is a clickable pen. Uh, it comes with a cartridge, I believe it was in black. So let's try to give some writing sample. I know this one definitely is inked up as I use it in one of my journals. So this one is Platinum, Caritas, and Medium. Actually, it looks like this one is in dark blue ink. Very smooth writer. Uh, I really like it very easy. Uh, again, of course, uh, being in medium nib helps, but uh, the clicking mechanism works really well. Pen doesn't leak. Uh, I know it's a concern for some. Um, it has a little like a trap door. I don't know if you can see it. that basically protects the nib and protects it from leaking. So if you've been thinking about getting a clickable pen, um, I highly recommend this one. I really enjoy it. It's really beautiful. It works really well. And um, it's about 40 to 50 bucks, which definitely is much less than uh, Pilot Vanishing Point. So Platinum Caritas. Next on the list is this tiny itty bitty pen. It's a portable pen from Pilot and it's called Pilot Petite One. It is, you know, you can see it fits on the palm of my hand. It's perfect if you have a passport sized notebook or a pocket sized notebook because it's literally this little and you can open the top and then cap it and then it becomes a nice size to, you know, for your regular size hand. And this one particular one is in fine nib, but when I write it, it is extremely smooth. The ink flow is amazing and it, to me, it feels more like medium. So something to consider. Um, even though it says it's fine, to me it writes more like a medium. I am very impressed with this one. So when I got it, uh, they come in all kinds of colors. So this one is in blue and it's kind of like a semi-transparent, you know, basically hue. Uh, they have them, I believe, in like five or six different colors. And I thought, okay, you know, it's a tiny little pen, you know, it's going to be okay, you know, <laughs> uh, as far as the writing quality but it is it's amazing and uh currently i use it in with my hobonichi 86 um it's just you know tucked in on the side of it and it writes so well onto my river paper so if you've been looking for a little pen to carry with your pocket or passport size notebooks i really recommend this one it uh it writes so well as i mentioned uh, it comes with a cartridge because of that size the cartridge is very small so i suspect you would need to get these specific cartridges you can probably also use it with with um, different ink once the cartridge is empty and just refill it yourself. I haven't tried it with just filling up the barrel here and screwing on without any cartridges or without any converters. Haven't done yet, but as is with the ink that it came with, it writes really nice. So let's give it a little try. 
So this pen here is Pilot Petite One in blue with fine nib. I mean, look how thick it writes. Basically, you can see it's the same same thickness of ink as this medium platinum. And when I write it, it I don't even have to press on it. It just glides. The ink just comes off really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed with that little pen and um, considering getting maybe a couple other ones in the different colors. So let's move on. All right, so continuing with pens that I've recently received or acquired myself is this F95 from Aerofa. Uh, it's a spider pen. It's this gorgeous dark silver with a green emerald and red top pen. Uh, it's it's beautiful. Uh, my daughter got it for me for Christmas. I believe this one is screw on. It comes with this gorgeous nib that has this, um, you know, silver gold accents with the spider on the nib itself. I hope it comes across. And this one is also in fine. So most of my pens in fine, I actually been thinking about acquiring uh, medium ones. That's the reason why I asked my husband for platinum in medium because most of my pens are in fine and the reason for that is because most of my notebooks that i use with fondant pens uh, have tomoe river paper and have very small square grid and to you know to write in them with fondant pen the fine nib is the best right because you can really fit the letters into those tiny squares but uh, medium is much nicer to write with when you have larger handwriting like i do when i write fast my handwriting tends to get larger and also when you have a medium nib it's easier to write on other paper rather than tomoe because medium just glides better on non you know tomoe <laughs> river paper kind of paper um, so again this one is um, Irofa F95 spider pen really beautiful this one I haven't inked it up yet this one is a piston mechanism um, it didn't come out a lot so it's probably fits you know not too much ink but I think it'll be enough again I haven't um, inked it up yet that's something I will do in a different video but I mean, just to have it, it's probably made out of steel because it's very, very heavy, very hefty pen. And of course it's gorgeous just to, you know, just to look at, <laughs> you know, some pens like, it's okay, I don't have to write with it. I can just look at it. I mean, look at this detail. You have spider here, you have this green emerald, you have like this black widow symbol thing going on. And of course it's all like this, um, you know, 3D looking uh, spider web designs on it. And it comes in this really nice gift box if you want to give it to somebody else. So no pen test for this one as it's not inked. So we're going to move on to the next pen. Next on the list, this gorgeous pen. So this one is from Scrivener London. This pen is very special to me because it came from my best friend who lives in England and she sent it to me for my birthday that happened in January. It was a pretty big date and so she sent me this very special gift. She knows what a nut I am about fountain pens so she decided what better gift to give me um, if not the fountain pen. So it comes in this outer box. There are some instructions on how to refill and how to care for your pen. And then inside you have this box. Let's flip it over. As you can see you have the gold embossed Scrivener London over here. And when we open it, you have this beautiful pen here. Um, the box itself, I mean, it's all like gold and black soy's pen. It's a very hefty, heavy pen, again, in gold and black. Uh, underneath here, you have your warranty, you have your ink barrel right in there. So it's all, you know, comes in this one little neat package and it comes with a golden nib and it is so pretty. Look at it. So this pen is in medium, which is excellent because as I mentioned, I don't have many pens in medium. Most of my pens are in fine and I'm really happy about having this in medium because then I can use it on a different uh, uh, papers, not just into my river paper. And I was joking with my friend that this will be my pen to sign my books when I go on book signings because I write books. And um, as you can see, uh, it has the Scrivener symbol right here. It has a Scrivener written all around 
and it has a discriminator on here as well and again beautiful golden nib again I haven't I just received this recently so I haven't inked it up yet it comes with a cartridge uh, and it also comes already with um, you know it's a twist uh, type of a barrel so you know you can use it with uh, ink cartridge if you want you can use it like this obviously I'm gonna use it like that because I can put whatever ink I want into it which is excellent um, amazing gift I'm <laughs> So I was so excited when I received it. I was, you know, literally jumping around in my room and clapping hands like a little girl. Beautiful pen. Again, comes in this gorgeous gift box if you consider giving it to someone. I love it. Very, very nice. Very special pen from a very special friend. And the last one of the newly acquired pens is this Kaweco. So this beautiful Kaweco came from my husband who gave it to me for Christmas. I decided to use it with this notebook here that has a matching color notebooks to go with it. And this particular pen is a Kaweco collection in cyan. This one is a medium nib. I asked my husband again for Christmas if he's going to get me pens to please get it to me in medium nib. So this one comes in this beautiful cyan color. You can think of it like a deep teal and it has a silver accent. So you have your Kaweco collection written in here. And, and then it is in medium nib. It's also in silver tone. And as all Kawekos, it comes with one um, cartridge, I believe in blue, but I also own several other Kawekos, so I have assortment of inks, and I also recently acquired Kaweco converter, so um, we'll see which one of my pens I'll be um, setting with the converter. So since this one does have an ink, let's give it a try. So as all Kaweco sports, it posts, making it a uh, you know, regular size pen. Again, this pen, just like the Pilot Petite, is perfect when you have a passport size or pocket size notebook because it's so portable, yet it posts to a normal size pen. So this one is Kaweco Cyan in medium really nice writes really nicely so this ink color actually didn't come with it i purchased it separately i'll show you a little bit of my inks in a minute uh but uh, because this one is this kind of a tealy cyanic color i decided to use a teal ink from kaweco with it and uh, look how beautiful this is really nice looking forward writing with this one in this year as always, I recommend Kawaii because they are so cute and they're very practical, portable, and they write really nicely. And speaking of Kawaikos, let's move on to the pens that I've already owned for a while in 2022. So this beauty right here, you might have seen it in my previous videos. This one is Kawaiko Classic Sport and this one is in color Bordeaux. So this basically uh, kind of like a dark cherry wine burgundy color and it comes with uh, gold accents, uh, came also with gold uh, clip and the nib on this one is also in gold color and this one is in fine it should be inked yes it is inked with kaweco caramel brown color which again if you've seen my older videos you would have seen me use this pen with this ink but let's give it a little test while we're here so this one is Kaweco Sport in fine and you can tell the difference between fine Kaweco and medium 
so you can see this one is medium this one is fine you can tell that it's thinner and you could probably hear that it's a little bit more scratchier uh, actually this specific pen is scratchier I have another one in fine in different color that I'll show you next uh, and this one writes a scratcher than that one so perhaps it's just a difference in nibs maybe the gold tone ones are tuned differently I don't know um, I might take it to a pen show and see if they can adjust it a little bit more but I love it nonetheless because this pen is just so pretty so for the rest of my collections let's go to this fountain pen case uh, you might have seen it in my videos I think like a couple videos back uh, so this one holds the rest of my pens that I've had for a while these I have to have them for a year or longer uh, so let's start with my recent ones of the collection and then we're going to go to the older ones so out of these here uh, i guess we can start with the kaweco the last kaweco that i have of the three so this little beauty is uh, kaweco sport and color is light blueberry and it's also in fine as the other ones and because it's blue it has silver accents you know in the name and in the clip and also in the nib just like other kawakas it comes with a cartridge so i got cartridges for it in a turquoise i believe this one has ink from uh, fiber castell in turquoise so let's give it a little scribble here <laughs> so this one is Kawaiko Sport in fine. So as I mentioned, uh, this particular one, even though it's fine nib, just like the one in Bordeaux, it writes smoother, even though I would expect them to write basically the same. Um, and you can see um, they are of the same thickness, but when I write, this one comes out much smoother and much more pleasant to write with than the one in Bordeaux. Next one, I guess I'm just gonna go right to left. Uh, this one here is Majan Pen, and this one is N6. This one is really cool. Uh, I actually got this one from Jet Pens. It it's in this semi-translucent mint, which I think is gorgeous. And this one comes with a regular nib, but also glass dip nib. So if you want to, you know, dip uh, into an ink when you write, instead of using it as a regular pen, you can do that. Uh, it came uh, just like this. And because I wanted to use it with my notebook and I was afraid it will fall out, I actually just grab uh, an extra Kaweco clip and it fits just right and it works well with it. So with this one, when you unscrew it, you can actually take it off and replace this part with a glass nib. This one comes with um, cartridges, I believe, and it also came with a converter as well. Right now it's dry. Unfortunately, I need to clean it and refill it with a turquoise ink. Uh, but yeah, this one was excellent purchase because, well, first of all, the way it writes, it's amazing. Um, silver nib to match the mint, to go well with the mint. But as far as writing it, even though the pen is pretty inexpensive, I thought it was such an amazing deal because it came with glass nib, with converter, and with an ink cartridge. I'm not going to test this little guy because as you can see, I wrote it dry, but I will link to a video where I gave it a pen test in the past, so you can see how um, well it writes. Very smooth, I love this pen. Uh, one of the months I decided to use that, and I think um, I had this one and this one uh, at the same month. I inked them with like this turquoise blue inks. It was, it was such a hard time for me to pick which one I want to write with, but I feel like this one was mostly winning because like I said it, it's a it's an excellent writer next pen is also by Majan and this little baby it's called Majan mini fountain pen in mint this little cutie I, when I saw it I was like I don't care how it writes I just have to have it because it's so adorable so this one is in this clear mint swirls you um, you know uncap it here and you post it and it becomes, you know, a semi-normal size pen. Uh, this one is in fine. And this one didn't come with cartridge or anything because it's so small, but it has a nice sized barrel, which I literally just filled in with pipette and screwed it on. I didn't have to use grease or anything and it doesn't leak and um, look how much ink I'm able to fit into this little baby. Right now it's ink with the writer's blood uh, by Diamine and I love it. It's so cool. 
another very smooth writer <laughs> again i was so impressed that these little inexpensive pens are so creative uh offer such a good ink storage and they write so well so well next one here is fabric castell so this one is a grip pen they have it in several different colors but when i saw this one I actually primarily chose it because it was in this beautiful turquoise color. I believe it's called turquoise. And this one is in fine. And uh, this one is called grip, not necessarily because it has this little dust that you can really grip on if you grab your pen here, but this particular grip, first it's shaped kind of like a slightly triangular shape and it has a non-slip um, surface here. So. Um, you know, if you write a lot and you find yourself, you know, your, your pen slipping in your hand as you're writing with it, this one is great. And it isn't fine. It's a really nice writer. And um, this one is uh, using a Fiber Castell uh, cartridge uh, in turquoise. And these cartridges are the same size as the cartridges for Kaweco. So if you have Kaweco Sports, because they use small cartridges, you can totally use those cartridges in here, but you can also use them in Kawekos. Um, actually, I just realized that I didn't write with this little one since it is inked. Let's give it a go and then we'll write with uh, Fiber Castell as well. So this one is Majan. Oh, I haven't written in a while. <laughs> Majan Mini in Mint. And this one is again in Fine. So this ink is supposed to be like a dried blood, uh, but um, obviously because it's fine, it looks more like it's brown. But if you uh, have a pen with the winer nib, you will see it's like a dark wine. It's really pretty. So let's close this one off, put it away, and then write with Fiber Castell next. So I believe this one should still have the turquoise ink on it to match the color of the pen. In general, I try to match the color of the pen with color of the ink, so then I don't have to wonder what color it is. But sometimes, like with this one, I really like that ink just to look at it. So I put it into this pen because it was a demonstrator pen. Uh, this one has its native ink. So we're going to say Faber Castell and fine so i see this one is just blue so it looks like i probably gave it either blue fiber castell or blue kaweco sport you can also hopefully see the difference between these three fine pens so this one this one and this one are all fine but fiber castell is so much finer than the majan or kaweco so kaweco looks like it's a little bit finer than this and this one is even finer than kaweco so this one even though that's fine like when you write with it yeah it does feel a little bit scratchy just because it is fine it actually feels more like extra fine but still it's a really smooth writer um, i really like the nib it's really uh, well tuned so um, if you want a pen with a very very fine thin line so fabric castell and fine looks really nice and the last one on this side of the case is this black pen by Menagio. Um, it is called Luxury Black Pen. Uh, it's actually very inexpensive, but it looks really pretty. And it's in this black and silver detail. And the reason I got it because it is a hooded nib pen. I really wanted a hooded nib pen because they look so cool and reminds me of the old school pens that my mom used to use. So I got this one. Uh, this one is in fine nib, like most of my pens and i believe it is uh filled in with a dark blue ink let's try it out all right so this one is oh as you can see i haven't written with this little baby in a while <laughs> my goodness it looks like it's another pen that i need to clean and refill let's see that was my second favorite pen yeah so it has a uh, ink but i believe it's dry so it needs to be cleaned poor thing so as you can see, this one comes with a piston mechanism, a twisting one, which is really nice, right? Um, that it comes with a, with a converter basically right away. Um, very nice writer as well. I really enjoyed writing with it. Uh, again, it was like a competition between this one and Majan. Uh, this one was uh, filled in with a dark blue and this one was more turquoise. And I just couldn't choose which one I wanted to write with because they both wrote so well. Now let's move on to this half of the case. On this side, I only have three pens and these are the pens that I've owned the longest. So uh, again, I guess right to left, uh, this one, I'm sure I don't have to tell anyone what this pen is because it has such a classic look. And this one is a 
Twisby Echo T in black. Uh, this one is in medium. That was my first medium nib pen. I love this pen. Twisby is my hands down favorite brand. Uh, of course, it helps that it's medium. It, it's such an amazing pen. I can use it on any paper. Um, it, it writes, you know, excellent on whatever paper you use it on. Of course, if, if paper not really fountain uh, pen friendly, it will, you know, seep through and whatever. But as far as just writing quality, it's really nice. Again, helps that it's medium. And uh, this pen is so amazing because it's not that expensive and the barrel size is huge. Uh, it's re easily refillable. It doesn't dry out. I had this ink here for probably over a year. As you can see, it's still there. It still writes, it's still basically what halfway, so I'll still be using it for a while. Um, this one has a Diatramentis ink in purple, and let's give it a little try. As you can see, no problem. Such a wonderful pen. Um, when people ask me what pen would you recommend for a beginner, Twisby will be it, hands down. Twisby Eco, Eco T, please go and buy one. <laughs> and if you're worried about fountain pens being scratchy, if you like to write, you know, with like a gel uh, ink pen that, you know, you're used to smoothness of a pen, get one in medium. It's an amazing pen. Um, I love it. Actually, I have a pen in fine that I just ordered because I wanted to see how Twisbees do in fine versus medium. So I'm going to have a second one. It's going to be all clear. Very excited. I'll show it to you when it arrives. But as you, you saw, I haven't written with this pen in a while. Put it to paper instantaneously. Great performance. No feathering, no bleeding, no smudging, nothing. Amazing. Love my twist beam. The next one here is in purple and it is Pilot Metro. And this one is in fine nib. As you can see by the sheen on the nib, it is filled in with a purple ink. I believe it's the same uh, diatramentous in purple as the twist beam. When I got Pilot, originally everyone was raving about it, and when I tried it, I couldn't understand what the you know the big deal was all about because to me it was really scratchy. It is in fine, so that's probably was my bad, and um, it was constantly uh, dry out as well. Um, so even though a lot of people recommend it as a beginner pen, um, I honestly won't. Uh, this one is the pen that I use the least. As you see, I'm trying to make it right, <laughs> and it's still dry. Um, yeah, uh, definitely probably needs to be um, drained and cleaned, but um, yeah, not not my most favorite one. As you can see, just can't get <laughs> to write. I mean, it's really pretty to look at. This one, I believe I have converter in it, and it also comes with cartridges. I have a ton of cartridges for these pens, and I don't use it, sadly. And the last one here, this pen here is Lunk CV and it came in set of three. It's a Hero 329 with a golden arrow. Uh, it has this golden arrow on the front. Uh, this one is in fine and you can see it's completely covered nib. I got this pen honestly because it looked exactly like the pen my mom used to use uh, when she had a fountain pen. Which she used it her job back in the day. And I got it just out of uh, pure, you know, uh, sentimental value. Uh, it's not amazing. I, I don't think it's inked. Yeah, it's not. Um, and again, I, I have it just to look at it. <laughs> to be honest with you, when I did ink it last time, it dries out really, really fast. I don't know why, honestly, because the cap here is very tightly. I mean, it's nice seal. So I don't know why it dries out, but it does. So these are all my pens that I own right now. As I mentioned, I have one more coming in. I have a few obviously that I haven't even inked yet. So it's to be seen how much I like, you know, the way they write. But of all of my pens here, which are these, these, all of these guys, of all of these pens, I have to say, surprisingly enough, the ones that I love the most are actually inexpensive pens. Of course, I love my Kawaikas, but these two Majans that were, uh, I think, 
under 20 bucks i think uh, these are actually like my smoothest writer so is this menager which is also uh, very inexpensive again of course i haven't tried these guys uh, this one i believe uh, about 40 or 50 bucks excellent pen too this one a very inexpensive pilot excellent writer as well love my kawakas but again because they are fine so they are a little bit on the scratchy side of course cannot say enough about Twisby love Twisby so this one probably of the ones that I love uh, the most pricey one at like I believe what 27 30 bucks something like that you can see there is a variety here of makers of nib sizes if you want to start with fountain pens do not be afraid they are you know they don't have to be expensive they don't have to break a bank for you you can try something that costs $15 and it will be a wonderful writing um, instrument for you that you can use for fun or you know in your daily journaling uh, I have to say um, writing with a fountain pen just gives it like this different otherworldly feel when you journal with a fountain pen yes of course sometimes they can be finicky sometimes you end up with the ink stains on your fingers but it's a lot of fun and uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is how I store inks for these pens so originally when I only had a couple of pens, I decided I'm going to get myself a case that's going to hold my inks and pens and I got this one. So this one is nothing special, you know, it's not something specific for pens. Actually, it's uh, literally just a leather, like a traveling zip up bag, you know, for your toothbrush, your shaving cream, things like that. So literally that's, that's what it is. But I didn't care because um, I knew that I just needed something that's square or rectangle, that's stable, that can, you know, doesn't fold into itself, holds shape and it has nice space and big opening and a zipper type and that's why I got so when you open here I of course added a lot of fountain pens as you saw with time I end up getting that uh, fountain pen case to hold them and this one just basically became a case to hold inks and also the boxes from the pens that I use elsewhere so as you can see here are the boxes for the Kawakas I have uh, some of them have inks in them as you can see um, I also hold uh, I just recently got a converter for platinum so this one goes into the platinum Caritas that I showed you that's right now um, is inked via the cartridge but I want to be able to use different inks in it so I got this converter I also have all the Kaweco inks in here so this one I love the caramel brown um, I got this one recently so this one is in turquoise really pretty uh, it's called paradise blue and I have this deep sea green from Fiber Castell as I mentioned Fiber Castell and Kawaker are interchangeable here is a turquoise one by Fiber Castell too really love it so and these are the inks for that I also as I mentioned have a ton of pilot inks so I got all these uh, cartridges so I have the black and then at one point I was really into like purple color so I have two boxes of purple for that pilot pen I showed you but unfortunately I do not even use it which is so sad I um, need to figure out um, if I can find a different pilot pen that can use these cartridges and use them in there and as you can see I store boxes here for my Majan pen from my Menagio pen, from the other Majan pen. I also have uh, the box that that Pilot Metro came in. And as you can see, I have some inks in here. As you can see how much fits into this little case. So here are my Daimai inks. I also have the Pelican one, which is this beautiful turquoise blue. Uh, here's my purple Diatramentis ink this is how i store my pen supplies that you know don't include actual pens um you know you can uh, use that for yourself if you've been looking for a solution and didn't want to go with like a giant case for pens or you were trying to figure out okay i only have a few inks where do i store them if i don't want to keep them for example on the shelf so that's what i use um it's really portable it's really you know all in one i can carry it around when i go into kitchen to clean and fill up the pens so i don't have to worry about you know carrying ink one by one i just uh, you know zip it up 
grab it and go. Um, it's really convenient and it has a uh, one more tiny zip pocket inside. It has a zip pocket here if you want to use it for additional things. Um, again, if you have just a couple pens, you can hold all of your fountain pen, everything in here. Um, if you have a lot of fountain pens like me, you can keep them separately in the carrying case like I have. And then your other supplies in here, like this one also has the pipette to put the ink into the barrel kind of pens. I have a little pocket where I have a uh, q-tips you know to clean up the nib and so on so yeah that's what i use for my um fountain pen paraphernalia so to say so there you have it my fountain pen collection my lovely fountain pens that bring me so much joy and so much fun Again, if you want to start your own fountain pen collection, as I mentioned, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. You can get a very simple pen for like 10 or 15 bucks. It often comes with the ink cartridge already included, so you don't have to worry about buying bottle ink or spilling it or getting you know mess on your hands just pop that cartridge into a pen and you're ready to go and then you can you know try the whole thing out see if it's for you and decide okay i want to expand and get more pens or i want to get converters and try the actual bottle ink um it can be so much fun without pressure without a big expense um i will put link to all the pens that i mentioned here and also the inks in description down below so you can check them out for yourself and if you like this kind of video please like please subscribe and leave me a note in the comments below of which one of these pens was your favorite which pens do you love and own what inks are your favorite and i'll be waiting for your recommendations because i'm always interested in adding to this collection and i hope to see you in the next video and until then bye take care